Hey everybody, I'm Chef Julie Andrews, registered dietitian, and I'm here today to show you a few recipes to incorporate more vegetables into your daily life. Finding a healthy eating style that works for you and your family and fits with your everyday life is sometimes easier said than done. My plate was developed to help you make healthy choices from each of the food groups. Protein, grains, dairy, fruits, and vegetables. The My Plate icon illustrates a place setting for a meal and encourages you to think about filling your plate with all the food groups. One thing to remember about the My Plate icon is it doesn't show the whole picture. An important thing you could miss by just looking at the icon is the importance of variety within each food group, especially fruits and vegetables. If you look at your student's school menu, you will see five different vegetable families each week. These vegetable families are grouped together based on the nutrition that they provide. The five families are dark green, red orange, starchy, beans, peas, and legumes, and other. The other family is made up of vegetables that don't fit anywhere else, like green beans, cauliflower, eggplant, and celery. The nutrients provided by this group will be different vegetable to vegetable. Today's recipes feature vegetables from the dark green, red orange, and legume food groups. These recipes have been tested in schools and child care centers, and children have given their approval. However, with every new food or recipe, it's important to offer and encourage the food, but not require it to be eaten. New foods can be scary to children, and it may take as many as 15 tries for them to really like it. Your child might be tasting these foods in school. Encourage them to try the food as part of the taste test or when they are included on the menu. One way to help children be more willing to try new foods is to have them help prepare them. Both recipes today have steps that children of any age could help with. Let's get cooking. Whenever you are preparing food, you should always make sure to use clean equipment, workspace, and hands. When you are using fresh produce, make sure you thoroughly wash them before use. The produce I'm using today has already been washed, so we are ready to prepare it. First up is the Rainbow Carrot Crunch. While carrots are frequently a favorite of most children, this recipe adds in a dark green vegetable. We are going to shred the carrots for this recipe. This may be a place where your child could help in the kitchen. So we're using a box grater today, so it's an easy way to shred carrots. And we have three rainbow carrots here. You can tell how beautiful they are by the different colors. And so there are four choices here for our box grater, and we're gonna use this one because it will give us nice big carrots. When I shred carrots, I like to do it on an angle, but this is sharp, so we want to make sure that we're very careful. Carrots are part of the red-orange vegetable family. These vegetables are a great source of vitamin A. Our bodies use vitamin A to keep our eyes, skin, and bones healthy. Other vegetables from the red-orange family are tomatoes, including tomato sauce, sweet potatoes, red bell peppers, and winter squash, like butternut or acorn. Look at all those beautiful colors. I love this recipe because it is so easy to make and so colorful. The hardest step of the recipe is shredding the carrots, but look at how great they look. I'm now going to add some raisins and spinach. So the spinach we have has some stems on it, and if you prefer to take those off, we can easily just rip off the ends, but they are edible. An easy way to get the kids into the kitchen is to have them help tear this. So they can easily just tear off little pieces of the spinach, just like this. You could also buy baby spinach, which is also very small. Spinach, like broccoli and romaine lettuce, are part of the dark green vegetable family. These vegetables are all a great source of vitamin A and vitamin C and full of minerals like iron and potassium. These nutrients help maintain blood pressure, heal the body, and protect against infections. The last step is to make the dressing. I like to make my own dressing because you can really control the flavors without adding a lot of salt or sugar. The first step is to whisk the dressing. So we're gonna use a small bowl and we're gonna start with the vinegar. And today we're using apple cider vinegar. And I'm just gonna measure two teaspoons. This is a perfect place to get the kids in the kitchen because they can easily measure ingredients. Next, I'm going to use vegetable oil. And this is also two teaspoons. Next up, we are going to add just a little bit of sugar. 
And the reason for the sugar is it cuts down on the acidity of our vinegar. But again, making your own dressing, you can control the amount. And last, we're going to add our orange juice. The orange juice provides a sweet, tangy flavor. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons. Now we just whisk it together. Once it's whisked, all we have to do is add the vegetables and toss it together. So here we're going to add our beautiful shredded carrots with lots of color. Then we can add in our dark green vegetables. And our last ingredient is just adding in two tablespoons of raisins. These are also going to add just a touch of sweetness and a little bit of chewiness. And now we just give it a toss so that the dressing is incorporated into our vegetables. Doesn't that look amazing? This dish is a sweet and refreshing vegetable side that will have your children crunching. This salad is best served immediately. However, if you want to make it ahead of time, be sure to store it in the refrigerator. You may want to hold off on adding the dressing until right before you will be serving it. Next up is the tropical bean salsa. This recipe contains red bell pepper, a member of the red orange vegetable family, and black beans, a member of the legume vegetable family. Other legumes include kidney beans, black eyed peas, garbanzo beans or chickpeas, and lentils. These foods are rich in nutrients like iron and are excellent sources of dietary fiber, which may lower the risk of heart disease and is important for proper bowel function. Because of their high nutrient content, eating legumes is recommended for everyone. However, a lot of children are hesitant to try them. This recipe should help your children rethink beans. It is also easy to make. You just need a couple of minutes. If your child is helping prepare this recipe, allow them to measure out the ingredients and mix them together. This recipe calls for mango, but you could also use a different fruit like cantaloupe or pineapple. We're using frozen mango to make things really easy. And I'm just gonna dice each piece so that it's smaller in the perfect size for salsa. Next, we can dice our red bell pepper. So we already have them cut in nice pieces here. So all we have to do is slice and dice them. So one trick when you're new to using a knife is to keep your fingers curled under so that you don't ever nick the tip of a finger. When I'm slicing, I like to keep the tip of my knife on the cutting board and just use the base so that I'm not picking up and setting down the knife each time I slice. Now, if we were making something like chicken fajitas, we could use these strips. But since we're making salsa, we want them to be nice and small diced. So I'm gonna put these all together and I'm gonna use that same technique to dice them into those small pieces. And we can add our bell pepper into the dish here with our mango, just to get a nice clean cutting board so I can cut my cilantro. Next, we can chop our cilantro. And we just need a tablespoon, and I'm just gonna use the leaves. In some recipes, you can use the stems, such as a pureed sauce, but for this recipe, we're just gonna use our nice, pretty leaves. And we're just gonna give them a nice little rough chop. And our last step is to mix everything together. So we're gonna mix uh, all of our veggies with some black beans. So this is about a cup of black beans. We're gonna mix that right in. And then last, to make it really flavorful, we're gonna add some lime juice just about a tablespoon. And then all we have to do is mix it together. Depending on what fruit you use, the recipe can be served sweeter or tangier. It is completely up to you. 
It is juicy and refreshing, and the bell pepper adds a nice crunch. Other ways to spice up your recipe to meet your family's taste include using jalapeno peppers or adding a dash of cayenne pepper to the lime juice before mixing. No matter how you make it, this salsa is delicious, served with whole corn tortilla chips, and it makes for a healthy snack. It would also be a great topping for grilled fish or chicken. I hope you try one or both of these recipes. Thanks for watching and enjoy.